boys we got another video coming out <clears throat> we got a shoulder day today so we're gonna go work some shoulders right now uh i'm doing a new split which is three days on uh one day off three days on so i'm never gonna have like a set day off um so what i'm hoping with this is that i'm gonna try i'm trying to post like every other day so i think i posted monday uh what did i post this week did i post two or three videos? i think i posted three videos did i post two maybe i posted two so i think i posted one on wednesday and then friday and then this one this one if i if i have time today which i, I probably will um but it is two o'clock uh, now so by the time i get done yeah i could have it out tonight i like to get them out by like seven o'clock um by the latest uh but if that that probably that might not happen today so this might video will probably be out tomorrow sunday so i'm gonna try to do it every other day um and I already feel I already feel better. Like I, I doing this three day on, one day off. I mean, I haven't even done it for a week yet, but my body just feels like more relaxed, and it feels like it's recovering faster, which is good. Um, but yeah, man, new year, same me, same mindset. Uh, gonna fucking crush this year. And I'm looking back, like, so I, my weight is going up again, um, which is good. I want it to. It's like one. I weighed myself this morning. I was 176. Uh, before like I ate anything, uh, did anything. I literally woke up, went straight to the bathroom. I, I peed too, and then I weighed myself because you can have a little bit of water um, in you. So I probably would have been like, if I didn't pee, probably would have been like 177 or 170, a little bit higher, probably 177. But I was like 176, which is good. I'm happy with that. Um, and we're gonna go back out. We have, I'll probably start dieting. My plan was to diet for an April show. And I would start that at the end of Jan or probably about now actually, mid-January. Um, <laughs> but going to Disney in February, so I'm not gonna diet and then be there for a week and basically eat all the shit that I'm gonna eat there and just go totally off plan because that's not how I wanna do it. So I'm gonna start the prep literally the day after or a day or two after I am back from Disney. Um, so that should be good. So that would probably be like end of February. February 28th or something like that. Whatever day, uh, the day after I get back or something. Um, so that should be fun. I'll probably do a show. I'll probably diet from March to about June or end of February to about June. But I'm just going to put it in March because, I mean, there's two days left or three days left in February by the time I'll do it. So end of February, beginning of March, um, start the diet. And then June, like beginning of june i think that's when i'll do my show and i was looking back at like photos of myself or videos of myself like i literally just posted it on my instagram uh by the time this goes up it'd be yesterday um i was like 160 pounds and i didn't really like it's kind of funny when you look back at yourself like you think you're like small as shit like you need to go on a bulk and yes obviously i, I didn't need to go on a bulk but like i was just so like i was shredded and i like missed that like i i what the fuck Oh my god, you did fall back asleep. I was already uh, an idiot. Um, what was I saying? Shit, I fucking blanked. Um, oh no, I just like being that shredded was, and I felt good. Like I was, I was probably eating like twenty two hundred calories, so it wasn't like I was like like fifteen hundred calories, like starving myself. Like yes, I was hungry a couple times out of the day, um, or a little bit out of the day, but. I, I felt fine otherwise, and I was still doing like my activities, like I surf, um, I was still having fun with friends, like I, I was still working, like I wasn't like fucking just sitting on the couch eating meals, then not training and then doing the same thing <coughs> um, over and over again. So I was I was having fun with it. Um, but yeah, this year, this year is gonna be different. Um, I'm gonna be so much bigger because I'm 20 pounds up. I've never been, well, I'm almost 20 pounds up. I was like 23 pounds up as my at my biggest. I was 183. And then I kind of plateaued there. So I went on a mini cut uh, for a little bit. Got down to like 178-ish. And then I just, I, I couldn't eat for a couple, for like a week straight. Like I was eating every now and then. Um, but like I just wasn't hungry and I couldn't, like when I would try and eat food, I couldn't get it down. Not get it down to the sense where I was like throwing up, but like I couldn't finish anything, any of my meals. So I was just struggling with that. And then uh, I went down to like 174. And now I'm slowly going back up. And that was about Christmas Eve when I was at my lowest or Christmas day. 
I was like 174. So now I'm like 176, so two pounds. In about a week and a half, two weeks, um, which is good. I'm happy with that. So yeah, we're just uh, taking it day by day, working on uh, my clothing. Go check out Dreamers Hut because it is the most comfortable clothing. Got hoodies and sweatshirts and a couple t-shirts in there. Um, nothing, nothing crazy, just keeping it decently light. Um, but super good quality, super high quality stuff. Um, I just wanted to make sure that everything was was good for you guys to wear. Oh, thank you. Um, but yeah, that's how uh, that's how we're doing it. Oh my God, dude, there's so many people here. All right, we're gonna park over here. I guess. Wow, this is fucking crowded. Holy shit, I'm parked at literally the end of the fucking lot. But um. Yeah, so we're gonna go uh, head in the gym and uh, get to fucking work, man. Got some shoulders, I'll be filming that. You'll be seeing that. I hope you guys like the edits and it kind of more like this vlog style stuff because I, I've been kind of liking it a bit more. It's kind of like, uh, not different, but it's different for me at least because I'm not really used to it. Um, but yeah, I'm, oh my God, dude, they almost hit each other. <laughs> um, but yeah, like that, I hope you guys like that last video was like, I thought that was funny as shit. The mukbang shit, eating the Krispy Kreme donuts. I actually really enjoyed it. And now I've been craving having Krispy Kreme donuts. Um, Cause they're fucking good, man. And they're not, they were store bought too. They weren't even like, like at the actual place, which makes it even better. So yeah, that was fun. Um, but I'll probably be back on here talking to you guys later. But if not, um, I hope you guys enjoy the workout. This has basically been seven minutes of me just yapping to you guys. Um, so I hope you guys like this talking content because I actually just like talking to the camera and getting out what I'm feeling. Not that I've had anything deep to say right now, but uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. We got the music in the background. You guys can probably hear it a little bit. Probably should have turned that down, but uh, probably get copyrighted right now. Um, but yeah, we're going to go hit this. We're waiting for my boy to show up. He literally just woke up um, and it is fucking two o'clock. So hopefully he gets here soon because i want to i want to start the gym closes at five so we're gonna go now uh hit some shoulders and uh, i'll see you in there so how do you make it how do you overcome the odds i don't know what to say really three minutes to the biggest battle of our professional lives. All comes down to today. We're in hell right now, gentlemen. Believe me. And we can stay here, get the shit kicked out of us, or we can fight our way back into the light. We can climb out of hell. Or you could be like me. Dream of pro football, get hurt, dream over. Find yourself with just seven bucks in your pocket. So how did I get here? By being the hardest worker in the room. Now it's time to see who has a heart. Now is the time to prove to yourselves and prove to everyone out there you are somebody. You are worthy of something. And you're able to do something special that no one else in the world can do. Are you ready to go out there and take what's yours? Yeah! What you worked hard for? Yeah! All of us in life have things we want. We don't get what we want. We get what we have to have. We all get what we tolerate in ourselves and other people. But when you're no longer willing to tolerate something, that's when your life changes. Everyone in the world has a list of things they think they should do. I should lose weight. I should work out. I should spend more time with my kids. I should work harder. I should make more calls. I should, I should, I should, I should. And then you know what? People don't do their shoulds and they get mad at themselves. They beat themselves up about it. What changes people is when your should becomes a must. 
when suddenly the thing you said should happen has to happen. That's when human beings change. It's like if you want to take the island and you're the head of the army and you want to take the island, the most powerful way to take the island is burn the boats. Because if there's no way to go back, it's amazing what happens when it's a must to do something versus a should. That's what makes human beings succeed. Ego is the success inhibitor. You have to do your best not to make decisions based off of ego for sure. Success and failure are generally slow processes. Either slowly building things up or gradually tearing them down. And that's why I say you've got to pay attention. You have to watch. You have to watch every single second. Because those seconds, they turn into minutes. And minutes turn into hours, and hours turn into days, and days turn into years. And so, that second, that second that just went by, that counted. And so did that second, and so did that one, and in those precious seconds, you are either building or you are decaying. You are either gaining ground or you are losing ground in that second and in every second. Every second. So, make every second count. The dream shattered, sent home with seven bucks in my pocket. I was like, wait, no, I gotta play in the NFL eventually. Those are my big goals, that's my dream. You realize that, that playing in the NFL was the best thing that never happened because it got me here. So my point is, look, you're gonna get your ass kicked. We're gonna get the shit kicked out of us. You gotta get up. You gotta have faith that the one thing you wanted to happen oftentimes is the best thing that never happened. So have faith and just keep that in mind and keep plugging away. All right, just got done. Sorry, my hands in the way. We just got done. It's absolutely fucking like just it's snowing like crazy out right now. I actually didn't expect it to snow this much. I don't know if you guys can really sweet see that well, um, but bro, it's coming down. Um, you know, if you know me, I'm not the biggest fan of the snow. I like how it looks. I don't like shoveling, especially when it gets like a lot, when we get a lot of snow, which. I don't know how much snow we're gonna get. It's only been coming down for an hour. <coughs> oh God. And uh, it looks like a lot so far, actually. It's actually sticking. So that means tomorrow is gonna be an arm day. And tomorrow meaning today's, th this video will be out today or when I do arms and when the snow probably stops. Tomorrow, I got arm day and I'm shoveling and I did shoulders today my arms are gonna kill me tomorrow like i just know it um but we're done with the workout that was it <coughs> oh god dude i got such a bad cough it's absolutely just coming down right now this guy in front of me parked sideways so i don't know what he's doing but uh yeah we're gonna go home eat something and you might even see this video it's only 3 30 i got to the gym around 
two fifteen by the time I got in there because um, I was waiting on my friend who didn't show up. You know who I'm talking about if you watch this. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna. Um, I don't know. We, we, I guess this is the. I forget. I honestly forgot what I was just gonna say. Um, oh, this video might be up by tonight, but we don't know. Probably tomorrow because um, I gotta edit and shit. You know, you know how it is. Um, but we're gonna get buckled in, you know. And uh, go home. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, there will be no mukbang today. No eating crappy. I did have a Taylor ham bacon and egg sandwich this morning. Um, that hit the fucking spot. I try. I I don't get those that often. So <coughs> I was just feeling like I wanted one today. So oh my god, what the fuck is this? Who are you peeping at? I'm not. I'm parked, bro. <coughs> um. Some of those just hit the spot sometimes, and I kind of wanted it. I was craving it, so I was like, I'm gonna get it. And then uh, the day before, the, the past three days have been rough. Um, I, I had Krispy Kreme donuts the one day, the last video you saw. And then the day after that, I had a whole bag of Milano's and about, I had like, what? <coughs> I had two packs. So they come in slips of five each. So there's three slips and there's about 15 cookies in each. I ate 10 cookies as soon as I got, as soon as I bought them, I ate 10 cookies. I know. And then the next day I had five. So probably not the smartest decision, but I don't regret it because they're fucking good. And I'm out on prep, I'm bulking, so. And my physique's still looking good. You know, I got video proof that just before, you know, if you if you watch the whole video or else you wouldn't be seeing this part unless you skip, but why would you skip to this? Because it's the end of the video. It doesn't really make sense. But, um, yeah, that's how my physique's looking. I'm about 176 pounds morning weight. Like, I, I think I said that in the beginning of the video. Um, but, yeah, physique's looking good. Maybe we'll push 185 uh, in next month and a half, two months. About two months, basically a month and a little, uh, a little less than two months. But uh, we'll see how the physique turns out at the end of that. See how much we push. Um, 10 pounds in a two-month span is doable. Maybe eight pounds I'll do. So like 183 or something like that. Uh, 184, which will be good. And then we'll uh, we'll go from there. We might maintain that for like a week or so. And then we'll start dropping calories. Um, probably like a 12 week prep if we do the show, when we do the show. I just pressed a button, I don't know what it did. Um, oops. All right, we're just gonna end the video there. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and turn on post notifications, because that always helps. And uh, have a blessed day, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.